In this episode, we are discussing why a great explanation should feel like a story. Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrei and this is the episode 23 of Decode Your 20s. Now, I'm shooting this video right before my departure flight from Germany and this is how it looks right here. It is a little bit raining. Now, going back to our stuff, I want to discuss why a great explanation should flow like a story. It should feel natural and it should have a logical sequence of actions. Now, the cause uh, that made me make this video is that people, including myself, do not always have a great explanation for things. So to give like a real world example, if you need to make a personal statement uh, explaining yourself, then uh, it might not follow a logical sequence of actions that describes uh, who you are and how you became like that. And b before we move to why I think this thing happened and how to, let's say, fight against this phenomenon, let's make an experiment. And this is for you and I provoke you to make um, a 30 seconds uh, description about yourself in verbal words, meaning you, you speak it. And uh, then I'm gonna ask you some questions about that one and see what uh, happens. So take a moment, one minute to think about that, do it and then you can come back and uh, listen to this video. Good. Supposing that, that you just try to describe yourself, now I'm going to ask you a question. Does your description uh, flow naturally between the actions that describe uh, you as a person? Are these actions sorted in a chronological order? Or do they follow at least a natural order of events as you find in a story? If the answer is yes, then phenomenal. I think that's awesome and I'm happy for you. But if it's not the case, then it is because you do not know how to describe yourself, like you do not understand yourself. And until now, we discuss the cause. Now, the best way to make things as a story and also like the fastest way to do that is to put the thoughts or actions or statements or whatever you have to put in a chronological order. Meaning, if you think of this as like a timeline, meaning the time, if you set the actions that you want to explain in a chronological order, meaning going forward or going backwards or starting from a point, going a little bit forward in time and then going backwards, it doesn't actually matter as long as you move sequentially of a timeline and not just jump between pieces that is gonna make uh, your explanation or story sounds uh, very natural for example if you have to present yourself and you start with the point that you are a student then jump back to what you did in the high school then come back and tell one or two stories from university then remember that you have one course and you are also working now at a project this is not um, a good explanation because you are jumping back and forth in time and that creates only confusion and it shows that you do not actually understand what you want to say there but if you start from a chronological order then things uh, make more sense so you can start from saying that you are a student right you can start saying about what you work right now then you can start going backwards you can explain um Maybe you did an internship back then. Also, uh, before that, you had a project which got you this internship. Then maybe you did some projects before that and you also had, uh, I don't know, uh, written five articles before that. Moving in a chronological order makes things uh, more clear. And the idea is like people and basically everyone um, has uh, the mind wired in such a way that uh, we are pretty bad of like shifting the context in time but if you relate something in a chronological order then it becomes easy now i talked a lot about chronological order but let's also find another way of explaining things logically and that is follow a sequence of steps 
in your explanation that makes sense coming from like a problem and until the end of the solution. So what I mean here is that, for example, in a story, a story is divided into five pieces and they go in a timeline, but abstracting away from the timeline, then um, you have some sections. You have uh, the beginning, the introduction, with things that explain um, the surroundings, the, the personas, things like that. Then things become intriguing and um, the problem is explained to you and you become intrigued. Then it's like the main um, uh, course of the story. And in the end, then um, it's what happens after the whole story. And in the end, that is the conclusion, right? So people are used with this kind of flow of sections because it's natural to start from a problem, then intriguing, then the main part, and then like end the main part and then finish. So whenever you have to make something, like an explanation, explaining something to someone, um, keeping this in mind, I think it's very helpful and uh, I think it's gonna create um, a lot of good things and I think it's gonna create an easier explanation. Now, I talked and um, this is not super practical, so what I provoke you to do is like whenever you want to explain something to someone the next time, try to write it on paper and try to firstly either set if you want to make things in a chronological order, if so, that's good, uh, then put the um, uh, type of the sections that you are going to explain and then put um, the actual content in these sections and then when you read it if it feels natural to you then that's great if not uh, probably you need to do some work now in this video that i make on youtube probably i don't have like the smoothest and the most natural flow of thoughts and that may be because i don't like fully understand um, what i'm gonna say but for example in the videos i started to see a pattern that uh, usually they follow um, the um, following sequence of topics. So firstly, I am explaining the topic. For example, in this video, I said that we are going to discuss why a great explanation should feel like a story. Then I'm telling the source of where uh, these thoughts came from. So in this video, I said that uh, they came from an observation that most people cannot explain things uh, linearly and smoothly good so topic and the source of the topic then i talk about some causes why this thing happened and give some examples and then after this what happens is that um, i talk the main things about the main story about this discussion and in the end i try to give actionable points before i finish the video so that's the sequence i found um, to be kind of working for those videos and uh, this kind of idea of dividing things into sequences I think works for everything else. I think this is everything that I had to say and thank you for watching, enjoy!